sentimental effects update for the QuasiDB service for Monday the 14th of December. Quick look at S&P and the H4. The supply here is obviously going to be a support 3674. We're five um, points above. I think this is going to be a good support. Uh, this would be a line in the sand for me if I was trading this. The low, um, it might have like a bearish tilt. Above, we'll have some nice um, support. It is calculating a, a downward trend line, but I think we're going to break that. We're going to have a, a support off the MA. Um, just a quick look at gold, actually, and that's just because I just mentioned it on the chat. Uh, this monthly pivot at, um, is it going to let me do it? 1835, or 1833 now. Um, and there's just a cross cluster above. We are still at the high level, and that's them going long over time. So, um, it might chop around monthly pivot like it did before, uh, but the sentiment is saying sell. So um, keep an eye on that, 1835. AJ, um, 7888, 7814. Look at your technicals. <laughs> Everything is green. Stochastics, stochastics are strong as well, and that's them selling at that point. They might have got tricked by some of these candles. Perhaps uh, that's quite a bullish candle, that one. But then, it, nevertheless, they sold at that point. Hey, you. Um, I think we're going to get some stop loss clusters. I think uh, we're 10 uh, pips away from the one above 75.70. One below 75.14. We are a buy. And that's them selling it. We went ever so slightly long. And then it's sort of teetering sideways. So I think it could be a stop loss hunt on this one. EA 16120 and 16026, very sideways, so you kind of avoid that because it's so sideways, really. EU uh, 12181 121 on the dot, exactly on the dot. Uh, it's choppy and sideways. Zoom out a bit, maybe. Yeah, so we're oh, quite a bullish. Uh, trend there. Uh, GU, we're going to get this SLC 13375. Note that the robot did buy because of the bubble. The bubble, the pound bubble really moved, so hence why we opened lots and lots of pound trades by the bubble, the bubble deviation. Um, so I think it could just rally, maybe. I mean, it's good news that we're going to prolong talks, so fundamentals are good. Um, it's a bit of a relief as well. 13283, and we're a buy, and that's them selling it. So that therefore becomes a buy, and we're above monthly pivot at 13190. So really, we could be testing MR1 at 13527, and we might have some resistance there. We've got some resistance, you see. So maybe we'll hit that. NU, this is the last stop loss cluster, 7115. 7070. I'll just check your technicals. And don't forget for a risk on as well, this is going to rally like all the other uh, cross dollar pairs. Uh, a softer dollar is going to help. Um, 12725, 12567. So I'm selling it. So up we go. Uh, pound yen. We'll I think we probably got that 139. Yeah, we're very close. Um, I mean, we're doing okay on the signals, actually. The robot's doing all right today. I, I personally wouldn't trade the pound, but that's uh, computer software for you. It, it disregards, uh, you know, fundamentals. It just uh, trades sentiment. So it's because the retail guys sold it, and that's why it becomes a buy. As you can see, that's them selling it at that point, <laughs> and they got punished by quite a large move, it's 190 pip move, that's quite harsh. We're above monthly pivot as well, don't forget, and that's your line in the sand bias for the rest of the month, up until the end, uh, up to January, and that's going to be a bias. Uh, dollar yen, soft dollar, that's them going long. So at that point, at monthly pivot, it became the sell. And uh, 104.16, 103.79, Try and make this video less than five minutes. One two seven nine five for dollar cad. One two one two seven. 
uh, on the dot, check your moving averages and your signal and your sentiment. Uh, so it's looking quite weak. Dollar Swiss, uh, 8915 and um, 8845. Very, very choppy on the sentiment. Um, so just be careful with this one. You've got monthly support too at 88.60. So we might come down again like we did before. And we might take out some stops then come back above monthly support too. It's quite a good support. So I'm just going to wrap up the video now. Uh, covered the S&P in gold and the other pairs. Um, if you can help test the robot, that'd be great. But if not, not to worry. And I hope you have a good day. And I'll speak to you guys tomorrow for tomorrow's video.